I was going to make a video about the Irish military diaspora, but there are more important things in the world right now. My parish priest has just shared this on the Facebook account for the parish, and I think it's far, far more important than my trivial interest in obscure historical figures, which may amuse you for a minute. Violence in the Holy Land, a statement by the Patriarchs of Jerusalem. This is a statement by the Patriarchs of Jerusalem. The Holy Land, a place sacred to countless millions around the world, is currently mired in violence and suffering due to the prolonged political conflict and the lamentable absence of justice and respect for human rights. We the Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem have time and time again appealed for the importance of respecting the historic and legal status quo of the Holy Shrines. In these trying times, we come together to rise our voices in unity, echoing the divine message of peace and love for all humanity. As custodians of the Christian faith, deeply rooted in the Holy Land, we stand in solidarity with the people of this region, who are enduring the devastating consequences of continued strife. Our faith, which is founded on the teachings of Jesus Christ, compels us to advocate for the cessation of all violent and military activities that bring harm to both Palestinian and Israeli civilians. We unequivocally condemn any acts that target civilians, regardless of their nationality, ethnicity or faith. Such actions go against the fundamental principles of humanity and the teachings of Christ. He implored us to love your neighbour as yourself. Mark chapter 12 verse 31. It is our fervent hope and prayer that all parties involved will heal this call for an immediate cessation of violence. We implore political leaders and authorities to engage in sincere dialogue, seeking lasting solutions that promote justice, peace and reconciliation for the people of this land who have endured the burdens of conflict for far too long. In our capacity as spiritual leaders, we extend our hands to all those who suffer and we pray that the Almighty may grant comfort to the afflicted, strength to the weary, and wisdom to those in positions of authority. We call upon the international community to redouble its efforts to mediate just and lasting peace in the Holy Land, based on equal rights for all and on international legitimacy. Let us remember the words of the Apostle Paul, For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 in the spirit of this divine message, we implore all to work tirelessly towards an end to violence and the establishment of a just and lasting peace will allow the Holy Land to be a kind of hope, faith and love for all. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all during these challenging times. That, I feel, is far more important than any trivial thing I had to say today or any YouTube video I had to make for amusement.